Fidel here again. And usually I put out one video a week, but since we're getting near the new school year, I decided to do two. And like I said, when I first opened up this YouTube channel, I said the point was so that no teacher be left behind. Um, and in that spirit, one of my colleagues asked me to do a tutorial about how to open up a Google site. And Google sites are so easy and so convenient to use that I figured why not? And I didn't want to wait with it because you guys can start doing it right away and have it ready for the 1st of September. So this video is 10 easy steps for opening up a new Google site. So step one um, is look around, see what different school sites are doing, what different teachers sites are doing. Uh, think about what you want to use it for. I personally use my site every day when I go into the classroom for my planning. I, I put up YouTubes there if I'm going to be showing YouTubes. It helps me keep organized and I don't have to fiddle around looking for things. It's all up there. Another reason why it's good, it's an easy way for students and parents to be able to see what it is that you're doing. Step number two, be sure you have a Google account because like the soup guy says, no account, no site for you. Step number three, and now we're going to move to the computer. So you go into sites.google.com, of course, after you have a Google account, which is free, like everything else in Google, and you get into sites. Now I have a whole bunch here, but be sure you go to where it says new Google sites because they look much cooler, much more up to date, and they're really user friendly. So here I am in my Google sites and I'm going to go over to this red button here and click to open a new site. So that's step number three, opening a new site. The place that I like to start is step number four, to decorate it. I guess I'm kind of superficial in that way. So you can change the image. You can either select an image that they have and they offer to you on Google, on the Google sites, or you could upload a picture from your one of your files. Let's say like that. You can change the header type, have it title only, where you don't see a picture or banner or large banner, which is what I would want because otherwise you don't see the moon here. And you can also go to themes, which have different types of fonts and stuff. So I'm going to stay with simple. And that was step number four. Step number five. So we have a front page. Let's give it a name. Um, And I want to add stuff. So you go to here, insert. For the text box, you can add your text. And it can be, you can choose the type of text it is. It could be the title, it could be a heading or a subheading or just normal text. You can insert, insert images either by URL. Uh, you could search for an image. You could upload from your albums or a Google Drive. You can embed a URL. And you can upload stuff from your computer. Add a divider. And all the, the entire menu here is just what it says it is. You can embed YouTube's embed really nicely here. All you have to do is have the link for the YouTube that you want to embed. And click on the YouTube. And it's neatly embedded in your site. You can move it around. 
you can make it bigger. You can make just drag everything around. Make it smaller. It's really convenient. Uh, another thing you want, might want to include is a calendar for your classroom. So I'll go and find the calendar that I prepared for this purpose. And you can embed your calendar, but be sure that it's only that specific calendar that you make for this purpose, for your class, and then all your other calendars won't show up. And you could put a map in if you need it. Any of the docs, slides, sheets, forms, or charts that you have in your Google Drive are easily embeddable here. So that was step five. Now for step six. So we have our front page. We want to add another page. You click on pages and you click on add a page. What's the name of it? We'll just call it page two. I'm being very creative here, but it'll do for now. And here we have page two. In the same way, you can insert whatever you want. You can change the header type. As long as you know what it is, what you want from your website, that's what you can make it. Step seven, choose navigation. So here we have navigation that's horizontal, but we can go to the uh, settings icon and click for side navigation. And then we have side navigation, home and page two. Now let's see what it looks like. Go to the I for your preview, which is step eight. And here we have home. Everything I put in there and page two. We get a preview of what it's going to look like on a computer on a tablet, and on a cell phone. Your students can look at your site from their phones. Nine, step nine is publish. And it won't let you publish till you give it a name. But it's already taken. You can request that public search engines not display your site, or you can have it findable. I'm just gonna leave it open because this is gonna go away after I finish this tutorial. Now it's published. So here we go to step 10, how to share your site. So it's already published. Next to the publish button, you have view published site. And as you notice here, you can also always unpublish it. So we're going to go to the view published site. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into the Google URL shortener, which is goo.gl. I'll paste the link here. It shortens my URL, so I can copy that and share this shortened URL with whoever I want, through email, through WhatsApp, through your school website, or if you're in class and you want kids to be able to get at it easily, we go, here's the published site, the shortened URL, I go to these three dots to the side and I get a QR code. And you can embed that QR code. Let's copy image. Now I'll go back to my sample site. And I'm going to add it just here. I just did control V. So now when I go into the classroom, I can put my site on the board and anybody who has their cell phone with a QR code reader can go in, scan this and get to the site. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions or anything about this video or if there's anything else that you want to have me make a tutorial about, I'm here for you because I'm digitally yours. Have a great year.